I've just been reading about the history of Hanukkah. And what did you find out? It all started when the Seleucid Empire invaded the independent country of Judea. They went into Jerusalem and took over the great temple of the Jewish people. John, we have an idea. Let's go back in time and see what happened. Great idea! Let me turn on my time machine. <laughs> <laughs> it's great being a soldier in the Seleucid army. We get to invade other people's temples and set up statues of Zeus. And the food is good too. Ham for dinner tonight. Yum, ham. And you know what? Pigs are considered unclean here in the land of Judea. So eating ham in their temple is especially evil. <laughs> Captain Greg and Captain Dan reporting Judea Maccabee, sir. The soldiers of the Seleucid Empire are in the middle of eating dinner. This is our chance. Get ready to attack. Come on, troops, we're going in. For Judea. For freedom. No more ham in the temple. Did you just hear something? No, just your imagination. No, it's Judah Maccabee and her soldiers. Run away. Run away. Uh, run away. Look at these disgusting pig guts they left behind. Oh no! The flame on the eternal light has come out! You two clean up. I'll go find some holy oil for the eternal light. Uh, you clean up the pig guts. I'm gonna get rid of this statue of Zeus. Uh-oh, there's only enough holy oil for the eternal light for one day. It'll take eight days to make new holy oil. Let's light the eternal flame anyway and see what happens. So what happened after that? It was a miracle. The holy oil burned for eight days. So that's why Hanukkah lasts for eight days. So Hanukkah is really a celebration of religious freedom. And it's a reminder that sometimes we have to fight for our religious freedom.